blessed feast day of our salvation to you all. For yes, this feast is in celebration of the beginning of the end of Satan's tyranny. We celebrate today antiquity, when the woman was spoken of in Genesis, as we know Our Lady to be. Yes, Our Lady is Guadalupe, she who crushed the serpent, and the blessed not only among women, but all men. For never in her was the least stain, for she is full of grace. As St. Jerome says, it was truly fitting that the Virgin, who gave glory to the heavens, the Lord to the earth, peace and faith to the nations, and an end to sin, order to life, and discipline to morals, should as a pledge of such gifts be full of grace, and truly full of grace, because to others grace is given in measure, but upon Mary the whole plenitude of grace was poured. We know then it is to Mary we should go, as so we know her to be our mediatrix, she who crushed the serpent. So was it by her existing and bearing the Christ child that she crushed the head of the serpent? I say this is what began her mission, but it continues to this day. Crushing the head of the serpent is banishing the want of sin from our hearts. And so, as a good mother, she does all she can to draw us to her, to draw us under her mantle. The crushing of the serpent's head is a continual endeavor for the things in people of this world to be banished from our hearts so that they never can enter to reclaim it. No, not all things lead us or tempt us to sin, but where Jesus dwells in his fullness, sin cannot dwell. And we know precisely why this feast is so close to Christmas, being the time of Advent, nestled in the time of Advent, our time of preparing our hearts for the coming of our Lord. And so Mary paves the way for him. She opens our hearts to him, for him and us to be in union. That is the purpose of this life, for us to grow in union with our Lord as best we can, to change all things to be advantageous to that. Everything that we have, every aspect of our lives, can be converted and formed into an occasion to praise God and to love Him the more. And that is the reason for His coming. That is the reason why we go to Mary, that she may help us prepare, prepare our hearts well, especially this Advent season. And so, let us truly take to heart today's epistle lesson. Hear instruction and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, and that watcheth daily at my gates, and waiteth at the posts of my doors. He shall, that shall find me shall find life and shall have salvation from the Lord. And so, we need to be seeking. We need to be seeking a greater devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary, and thereby a greater union with our Lord, that we may be strengthened against temptation and sin, that he may dwell in our hearts. And so let us go to her frequently this Advent season, making our preparation with her. O Mary, conceive without sin, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.